In today's video, we're going to be looking at the Binance coin BNB. What is BNB? What does it do? And what are its uses or economic benefits? Welcome to Silver Coin, where we bring you quick facts, information, economic benefits, and trending news on the various altcoins in the cryptocurrency space. This is no financial advice. Crypto is highly speculative and investing in it is risky. This is purely for informational and educational purposes. And you need to do your own research before deciding on investing in any of the cryptocurrencies. So now that we have that out of the way, let's get into today's video. What is Binance Coin? What is BNB coin. The Binance coin is a cryptocurrency issued by the Binance Exchange and it trades with the BNB symbol. It was initially based on the Ethereum network, but it is now the native currency of Binance's own blockchain, the Binance chain. It was launched in July 2017 through an initial coin offering which made available 20 million BNB tokens to angel investors, another 80 million to project contributors, and 100 million tokens to the general public. So altogether, about 200 million tokens of BNB tokens were released. So the funds that were raised from the ICO, that is the initial coin offering, were used to grow and develop the Binance Exchange. At the time of this video, which is about mid-year 2022, BNB has a market cap of more than $37.8 billion, and it ranks number five behind Bitcoin, Ethereum, USDT, and USDC. And this is in terms of market cap. So how does uh, BNB work. BNB uh, is a deflationary token. So it goes through the burning. And so Binance uses one fifth of its profits every quarter to repurchase and permanently destroy or burn um, the BNB coin that is held in its treasury. And um, BNB was created as a utility token to provide discounts on trading fees in 2017. But its uses have, you know, since been uh, uh, expanded, and now it includes a lot of things. It includes payments for transaction fees on the Binance chain, like we already mentioned. It, it includes um, payments for travel bookings, includes um, financial services, use for financial services, online services, and entertainment, and which we will discuss more on later in the video. But for now, let's look at the fees and expenses that um, are involved when you have BNB. So since it's uh, primarily created for in internal exchange use and the coins have already been pre-mined, so there's no fee associated with the network. Um, usually when you trade on the Binance ex exchange, uh, that is when you buy or sell your token, you have to pay 0.1% um, um, of the trading amount as fees. However, if you pay for your trades with BNB, you get up to 25% to 50% discount. For instance, if you're going to purchase $100 worth of BNB through Binance Exchange using any other coin or conventional money, it will cost um, you about 0.1% or 10 cents in fees. But if you're paying with BNB tokens, uh, you will only have to pay roughly 0 0.08 or you know seven and a half cents or eight cents if I round it up or five cents depending on your VIP level. So there are VIP levels in the Binance chain and this depends on um your trading volume on the exchange and the amount of BNB tokens that you hold in, in your wallet. So having a native currency uh, enables the Binance platform to cut unnecessary costs um, associated with currency exchanges. So the BNB token uh, does not just provide 
Binance uses um, discounted trading fees. It is also, I, I like to talk about the, the, the the burning, the coin burning here. So Binance coin burning, the current total BNB supply now is lower than 100 million. Although um, in July of 2017, 100 million Binance tokens were offered to the general public. If you remember, uh, I mentioned this earlier. So now that 100 token has been reduced. It's no longer 100 token in circulation. Um, and this is due to the burning or the destruction of the token every quarter by Binance. Uh, why do they do this? The burn strategy, as they call it, is supposedly used to reduce the token's total supply in circulation, thereby increasing the value of the token. So as the tokens become uh, fewer in number, the value supposedly increases. So the latest BNB burn came in April 2022, so every quarter, right? So when Binance burned a total of 1.8 million BNB coins, uh, which was equivalent to 741 million dollars, you know, USD worth of tokens. Um, as a, and at, at the time of the burning, the BNB token was averaging about 403 for BNB. So to talk more on the um, Binance fee structure, um, when you hold BNB tokens in your balance, um, they have a table the the binance exchange has a table like this that is on the exchange you can look for it on the fees and structures and all that and um it, it all depends on their vip levels and requirements and they will let you know how much you pay in fees if you are if you hold a certain number of bnb tokens and in addition if you your trade 30 day trading volume is um at a certain point so for example vip1 vip2 three four they have up to vip9 for vip1 you can see you need to have 25 at least 25 or more bnb tokens in your balance and in addition you should be trading about one million dollars within 30 days to be able to avail of the lower fees and there's the old previous spot trading fees and then there's the newer trading fees and as you can see the newer trading fees are less than 0.1 percent so the more you trade and the more bnb tokens you have in your balance the lower your trading fees are so what is the bnb coin used for what are the economic benefits why bnb coin so like we already established earlier on, initially it was meant to um, reduce, you know, trading fees. And like I've explained and shown, um, when you hold BNB coins, you can, you know, have your trading fees reduced and it will further lower your trading fees. So, but the BNB token has gone further than that and now it's got several other uses including making credit card payments so you can use the binance visa card to make credit card payments and with the bnb coin you're able to get this binance visa card and they're able to make this available and you can you know use this credit card um this uh, visa card to make credit card payments you can use it to pay for travel arrangements on some websites like um Travala.com, trip.io. You can use it to buy virtual gifts online. Um, you can also use um, this BNB Visa card, which was made possible by the BNB token. You can use it to process payments through Binance's launch part program, where you can use BNB to invest in some ICOs. You know, so so a lot of other tokens that are coming out that are launching their initial coin offerings they do this on binance's chain and they are able to use the binance's launch purge for all this so you can also use um bnb coin to make investments um you can use it to make loans and transfers at nexo.io eastland uh, there you can hold BNB um, in your wallet and be able to, you know, 
make, get, gain some interest or be able to um, get loans while you have those um, coins, BNB, um, in your um, wallet. You can use BNB coin to donate to charity. There are some charities that already accept BNB tokens, um, you know, as um, money or offerings that you give. So as you can see, there are so many uses for this altcoin. So if you're thinking, oh, BNB is such a great token, and you're thinking of where you can purchase it, well, there are quite a few places where you can purchase BNB. And at the time of this um, video, um, BNB can be purchased on some of the following top exchanges. Uh, the Binance Exchange itself, um, the MEXC Global Exchange, um, Bybit Exchange, FTX Exchange, BTCEX Exchange. You can also get it from BitGut Exchange, Hits BTC Exchange, Wu Network, and probably some other ones. So it's quite a popular coin, and um, more and more exchanges are beginning to carry it. Now, although the Binance Exchange supports the largest variety of trading pairs with BNB, because obviously they own it and they provide the best trading rates for the coin but keep in mind that trading in bnb and any other crypto token for that matter can be risky so uh, before you venture into it do think twice and make sure you're you know doing the right thing bnb coin reached an all-time high of 686 dollars and 31 cents that was on may 10th 2021 an all-time high of $686. Um, dollars. It currently trades in the range of 215 um, and 236 Like we know, there's a bearish market going on now. So all the tokens um, are so, so, you know, uh, depreciated and low. At the time of this video, which is about uh, around June 2022. So uh, there's been a drop of over 68% from its all-time high till now. But some crypto experts are suggesting that BNB is gearing up for a significant bounce back. So who knows? We'll keep our fingers crossed. So I want to quickly go over a BNB um, coin price analysis. When BNB was launched in July of 2017, it was offered um, for about 10 to 15 cents per, per token. And if you had purchased about $5,000 worth of tokens at 10 cents, you would have ended up with 50,000 units at the time. And 50,000 BNB units, um, if you kept it till May of 2021, when it reached an all-time high of 686, you would have got $5,000 worth of tokens would have converted to $34 million worth of BNB tokens. Whoa. Now, if you bought in July of 2017, and if you held on till now, June 2022, if you held on till now and you wanted to sell, you'd still be making huge returns. Even though it is a bearish market, you will be making over $10 million. That is, if you decide to sell all your units. So the BNB token has been quite profitable for those that bought at the in at the very beginning when it was initially offered and I've kept there still now even if you had sold at some point in 2018 you would have still made some money so well kudos to those that um, got those in at the time and here is the guy behind Binance and behind the BNB token so Chang Pang Zhao known as CZ is the CEO and founder of Binance so he's a former, he was a former employee at Bloomberg and is one of the wealthiest men alive. He, he's the founder of the biggest crypto exchange. He started his crypto journey in 2013 by investing in Bitcoin. And before you know it, he's building the exchange we all know now as Binance. He's got great vision for Binance, for the BNB uh, token and the Binance ecosystem as a whole. And we can already see it in you know the binance coin and its many many uses 
So there you have it. That's Binance coin in a nutshell and how this BNB coin powers the Binance ecosystem. Click the link below in the description if you require further information on the BNB coin. And thank you very much for joining us. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel if you find this information useful. And until next time, keep learning. Bye.